The second ministerial retreat of the Council of Ministers on the African Continent Free Trade Area, AFCFTA, has ended in Nairobi, Kenya. On the packed agenda during the three-day meeting was the presentation of a practical paper on the introduction of AFCFTA national trading companies by the chairman of Magdan Group of Companies, Mr. Daniel Macaulay. Over three days, participants at the retreat pulled ideas to come up with a detailed plan to complete the agenda of the AFCFTA Secretariat for the current negotiations and to identify the specific priorities to achieve the slogan accelerating the implementation of the AFCFTA chosen by the African Union for the year 2023. The second ministerial retreat of the Council of Ministers was also an opportunity for the AFCFTA trade ministers to exchange views on several issues including the blocked files linkage to the negotiations on rules of origin. These included the automotive component sectors, textiles and clothing, and other issues relating to the investment protocol annexed to the agreement. Transit trade and the possible drop in custom revenues as a result of the application of the custom cuts mentioned in the agreement were also on the table. On the private sector's role, Mr. Daniel Macaulay led the Magdan Group to present a practical paper on the introduction of the AFCFTA national trading companies. He explored the critical role the private sector can play in implementing the AFCFTA. Actually, the trading companies broken down into three aspect number one we have people moving businesses moving in the in africa region already in the continent already how do you how do you move them i'm into mining i'm into aviation i'm putting a lot of rigs forward to start the black star line the first african shipping line um this shipping line after it's procured and start moving I would want every country to have a share in it, be it everywhere. So we start with one, two this year. Within five years, we can have 20 uh, vessels going on the African continent. That will really solve our problem. The second aspect of uh, the trading company is moving business to business. Currently, we just started, but we have been able to gather a lot of data we have to find market for those who don't have market. Lastly, is connectivity. We have map up how to connect Africa. We procuring cargo planes, vessels. I can tell you that uh, if we joke with after, the Chinese, the European, the Americans will frustrate us. I want the ministers to know that uh, the trading company it's a solution-driven company. We don't come complaining because businessmen always find solutions. The AFCFTA is the world's largest free trade area, bringing together the 55 countries of the African Union, AU, and eight regional economic communities, REC's. The overall mandate of the AFCFTA is to create a single continental market with a population of about 1.3 billion people and a combined GDP of approximately 3.4 trillion US dollars. AFCFTA is one of the flagship projects of Agenda 2063, the Africa we want, the Africa Union's long-term development strategy to transform the continent into a global powerhouse.